Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at the message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Let's start with the date. March 15th, 2022. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will review the ABCs and vowels. Next, we will do Jacob's Ladder with the poem Swing Song. Then, we will learn about summarizing. Last, we will make writing easy to read. Love, Miss Joyner. All right, let's talk about some of the special things that we're doing today at school in language arts. Do you remember the date? Let's point and say it one more time together. March 15th, 2022. Did you notice that there is an uppercase letter M, like M man M, to start March? Remember, every month of the year is special and important. It's going to have an uppercase letter at the very beginning. Do you notice any other uppercase letters? As we are looking through the message, I want you to see where they are. I noticed some. Did you notice any for the greeting, dear class family? I see the D for dear and the C and F for class family. Let's look at the first telling sentence and notice what is capitalized there. Today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. And do you know that there are some uppercase letters there? I see some too. Where do you notice them? At the start of this sentence and where else? Oh, for the day of the week? For Tuesday, you're right. Oh, I noticed the lighting is going in and out. Do you see that on your side? Oh, I wonder if that's the clouds outside. It's very interesting. That's not happening in here, but I feel like it's going on. Do you see it? Let's go ahead and continue. Look at the next sentence. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true class family. We will learn a lot at school and we do that every day. We learn in different subjects. That's what students do. They go to school and they learn from many teachers and in different subjects. Let's see what else we're going to be doing during reading and writing today. First, we will review the ABCs and vowels. Okay, kindergartners, we're going to be reviewing the ABCs, starting with A and going all the way to Z. Now, when we do the ABCs, let's look carefully and remember the vowels. Do you remember? I heard some of you say it. A-E-I-O-U, like A apple A, E and E, I itch I, O octopus A, and U up A. We're going to be reviewing vowels today too. Let's see what else we're doing at school. Next, we will do Jacob's Ladder with the poem Swing Song. Okay, so we're going to be doing Jacob's Ladder with the poem Swing Song. We have one more day of this. And what we'll be focusing on today for Jacob's Ladder is summarizing. This next step is summarizing. When we do this, we're going to be looking back at the poem Swing Song that we were visiting yesterday. Swing Song by A.A. A. Milne. Here I go up in my swing ever so high. I am king of the fields and the king of the town. I am king of the earth and the king of the sky. Here I go up in my swing. Now I go down. We're going to be looking back at this poem and revisiting it. That's what good readers do. They go back and they reread things. And we're going to think about it and discuss it and share our thinking. Today, when we focus on summarizing, what is this poem about? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to share our thinking as good communicators and talk about it. And you're going to have an opportunity 
to draw and write some of the things that come to mind for what is this poem about? Today, we're focusing on summarizing. Okay, and when we are at school today, you're gonna to be a great communicator. I want you to think about how you've been a great communicator. When you share your thinking, when you're talking with friends, listening to others, writing or drawing to share your ideas. How did you listen and ask questions so that you can understand? We're gonna look back at this after we have been working on the poem Swing Song and focusing on summarizing today. And then we'll think, how did you listen and ask questions so you can understand? All right, so today we have some other things we're gonna work, be working on. We know then we will learn about summarizing. We just talked about that. Last, we will make writing easy to read. Okay, so, and I keep seeing, do you see the lighting going in and out? It's like there's some magic happening in here with the sunshine going in and out. I know you see it from your home and we see it from class kindergartners. I wonder what's going on outside with the weather. We'll have to talk about it that today in class when we're doing calendar and weather. Okay, so in addition to summarizing, during writing workshop, we'll be getting our resources together, including the ABC chart, the fast words list, we're gonna have the word wall up, and we're gonna have our crayons, colored pencils, erasers, and we'll have our story paper. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We'll be focusing on making our writing easy to read. Some, way that, some ways that you can do this. Good writers make their writing easy to read by using a capital letter to start each sentence. Remember, that's what good writers do. We have capital letters to start every sentence in our message. In class, we're gonna circle those capital letters as we find them together. We start with a capital letter. Remember, you're gonna leave spaces between each word. So it's a finger space. You don't want your words to smush. Okay, you're gonna put a punctuation mark at the end. And in kindergarten, we're really focusing on those telling sentences and statements. So we'll put a period at the end of each sentence, okay? And we'll write a letter for each sound. So when you're sharing out loud, listen carefully. We're gonna hear the sounds and we'll use some of our resources to help us write. That'll make our writing easy to read. All right, we have a terrific Tuesday, and it's a fantastic one. Get your fans together. Fantastic. All right, later on today, when we do our T-chart of yes or no answers, we'll be answering this question. And it's great because we were looking at the poem Swing Song. So look at the picture. Do you like swings? Well, do you? Later on, we will share our answers to a tally mark and your reason why as we listen to each friend practice being a great communicator. Do you like swings?